Oh man, look at that. Wow. Well, this was the payoff of the hike. I can hear it, I can see it. I get vertigo if I get too close to it. And then this is it. There's my foot, and there's the edge, and there's the bottom. Not for people with fear of heights. Too bad. Make sure you got your knife with you. <laughs> and some trash. <laughs> knife and some trash. <laughs> got into Yellowstone. We had to wake up about 3.30 this morning to get here. About a two hour drive. We got into the park just a hair over six. It's just been beautiful since we've been here. No crowds. We didn't have to fight any lines to get in. And we're at the uh, Fountain Paint Pots right now. This one behind me is going off. Just really special. Really neat area. What do you think, buddy? I think green might go with green. Yeah. Bubbling good. Pretty cool, huh? Now, because we got here to the Grand Prismatic Springs so early and it was still so cold out that the hot springs were making a lot of steam, we really didn't get a good view of the Grand Prismatic Spring. This is a smaller one right here. The larger one, as you see here, was just so much steam we didn't get a good view. And just a heads up, by this time it was already 8 o'clock and the parking lot was pretty much already full when we left here. No. We're just hanging out here at the uh, Old Faithful, waiting on it to get ready to go. Having a little breakfast while we do it. What do we have? Oh, I had two muffins. Yeah, two muffins. We have keto eggs. Little egg muffins with avocado and bacon and olives and cheese in them. And they're pretty tasty. What do you think about the egg muffins? Egg bites. Is out there. Egg bites. <laughs> Good. I don't like cold eggs. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They'd be good warm. Oh sure. With uh, salsa. If they were heated, yeah, but they get the job mm -hmm. done cold. They're good. Yeah. Like this. You know, food. You gonna throw him in Old Faithful? Taking a little hike up to Solitary Geyser and the Observation Point, uh, Observation Point Hill for Old Faithful. So we might see it again by the time we finish this hike and get all the way to the top. And then I think we may just do about a mile hike to Morning Glory, which is a prismatic spring. And by the time we do that and get back to the truck, I think it's gonna be just about time to start making our way out of the park 
and the two hour drive back to the camper because we will have two pooches that will be waiting on us to go to the bathroom. Anyways, it's gonna cut our time just a little bit short today. down to the was it observation point for Old Faithful. Maybe we'll catch it a second time. <laughs> um, we're up by, was it Solitary Geyser? Yep. Little guy makes a big bubble fart. It's kind of cool. <laughs> so far the day's been pretty good though. We got here about, we got to the park entrance about what, 620? Yeah. I think, and we drove yeah. right in. No problems with that. And I'd say for the first half hour, there was really no traffic. And we stopped at the um, fountain, was it fountain fountain pot fountain pot something but by the time we were on our second stop we stopped at the um grand prismatic springs and by the time we left that parking lot uh there was already there was packed there was no parking spaces like when we were leaving so like they say between 10 and 5 parking spots are hard to find if you want to get to trailhead try to get to it by 10 o'clock to find a parking spot pretty good view back there the old faithful inn built in 1904 it's the largest log hotel in the world and i recommend coming inside to see it while everybody's looking at old faithful or waiting to see old faithful go off beat the crowd because once old faithful goes off it gets packed in here trying to lean it up see all the way up there i mean, I mean it's just wild Time for a little picnic lunch here in Yellowstone. Okay. We forgot a spoon. So I made my own out of a water bottle. Survival skill. And I can just kind of dig into my food. It works, not too bad. Make sure you got your knife with you. <laughs> and some trash. And um <laughs> knife and some trash. Well, oh, good to go. That's right. Okay. So, <laughs> yeah, my back is sweaty. So we are doing our second day out here in Yellowstone since we've been out west. And uh on a nice little hike today. This is the Clear Lake um, Artist, yeah, Clear Lake Artist Point Loop Trail, basically on the south rim of the Grand Canyon, the Yellowstone Grand, Grand Canyon. Canyon. Definitely recommend it so far. There's nobody out here. Uh, the park is packed, so it's nice to get out on a trail and just have some wide open space for herself, as you can see. We got somebody down here taking a little break down there. Corbin, say hi. <laughs> Yep, and we're staying in the, the canyon campground. Mm -hmm. We're going to do an overnight or do a little tent camping. Uh, Corbin's excited about that. It's been a while since we've camped in a tent. He's never camped in a tent. No, so this will be a first for him. going to do some s'mores tonight. I'm sure you guys will see some footage of that. But we're going to hit some trails up and just have a real good time. Hopefully see some animals, see some bison, buffalo, wildebeests, and whatever else roams around out here. <laughs> So is it called, so we have to say bear scat? Okay, we don't say bear poop. We can't say if on YouTube. We need to say scat. This is a family channel, babe. You could just beat that out. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. Look what we found, bud. I am. I think this is why they call it Clear Lake. Whoa, it is clear and pretty. Oh yeah. That's right, they do need to come down here to drink.
Oh, we just arrived at Clear Lake. A nice easy hike, goes through some beautiful meadows and over some nice hills, it's not too hard. Uh, my little six year old did it no problem and this is the payoff that you get right here. It's absolutely just beautiful. Junior Ranger here behind me. He's got his binoculars out, his hat, badges, his multi purpose tool, and he's ready for a snack break. So, we totally just left that lake about two seconds ago, came over this hill, and the landscape just totally changed. That's a thermal area all out there. It says danger, uh, danger fragile area, keep out. And we can hear it boiling and rumbling over there. That's a lot of poop out there. I don't know if I'm smelling the poop or if I'm smelling the sulfur from these springs. Yeah, it might be both, huh? So far, it's been a pretty cool trail. The fact that we kind of started off in these lush meadows with wildflowers everywhere and rolling hills. And then we went into the woods and ended up uh, by the lake. And now we're in this thermal what do you call it kind of region <laughs> uh and it's like this wasteland and so it's just a it's been a really neat loop i think we're not even halfway done with it so far and experiencing a little bit of everything yellowstone has to offer it seems like just mud pot bubbling whoa I don't want to step on a pile of that i can see them they're like blown with the wind I think we're coming up to a cliff. Wow. Well, this was the payoff of the hike. Oh man, look at that. I can hear it, I can see it. Quite the payoff right there, huh? Shoo. Man, and uh, one wrong step, and <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the, the no, edge is very treacherous. No rails up here. No rails, and just <laughs> dirt and rock, and that's it. And it goes over, man. But wow, beautiful looking down in that canyon. Kind of hit the halfway point of this hike and this trail, and we're heading back around now. Man, it's so dangerous. I mean, this is it. There's my foot. And there's the edge, and there's the bottom. Not for people with fear of heights. Break time. <laughs> We're at the, uh, Artist point, maybe maybe a little more than halfway through the hike that we're doing today. Take a little break. We've reached civilization again. It's been a nice trail because there's really been almost nobody on it the whole way. We only passed a few small groups. But it's, now there's people. Yeah, it's, it's packed here at the artist point, but you know, it's where you can see the waterfall and, and everything. So we're gonna finish up hiking the South Rim and back to the parking lot and that might be the day. I'm not too sure what time it is. Let's see how we all feel. Yeah. Dropping your snacks. <laughs> hey Corbin, so what are we doing? Setting up our tent. I think we're in like um the Grand Canyon. That's right. National. Yeah. Yeah. The Yellowstone Grand Canyon. Yeah. Campground. Yeah. Okay, so we're grabbing some of these poles. You ever done these before? You've never tent camped Watch before, this. huh? Watch this. You just push them in the hole. So this is our little home away from the solitude for one night here in Yellowstone. Nice big long spot for the truck to back into and we got a little overnight tent set up. We actually just had to run out and buy that. We have a um, bunch of camping gear and it's in a storage shed. So this is a sea loop at the Canyon 
campground in Yellowstone. It's actually really nice. And it's pretty cool to actually give you this little food storage box. Bear proof boxes. And, and we just keep all of our food in here. So that's pretty cool. Corbin said this is his bear shelter. So what do you guys think after a good day of hiking, huh? Thumbs up. Yes. Tent bed, guys. Tent bed, Corbin's first time sleeping in a tent. The Swedish log is working pretty good here. These are my new go-tos for starting fires. These things are awesome. They light pretty easy and they seem to last forever. This is his first weenie roasting experience. He's a s'mores expert, but we haven't done the hot dogs yet. Oh, I can hear it, buddy. Sizzling. Listen, we're having a taste test off here too. We have Nathan's Famous, which is very popular. They claim they got the best hot dogs. And then we have the Hebrew Nationals. We all know they claim to be the best hot dogs. So we're going to see. We're going to have a side-by-side -side comparison here. Whoa, look at that face. <laughs> what do you think about those grilled hot dogs, huh? Or open, roasted. roasted, open flame. He likes them. All right, my turn. Let's go do this. Okay, so I'm upping my game on this uh, second round of weenie roast here from the slow roast. And as far as the competition goes, I chose Nathan's and Megan chose... No, wait. I chose Hebrew National and Megan chose Nathan's, right, babe? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to give him a second round and, uh, and and make sure. So I'm going to have four hot dogs just to make sure. Well, you, know, you have to do you know, your due diligence. Yeah, I don't want to be wrong about this, so... Uh -huh. Please help me. You look very comfortable over there, honey. I am. I'm burning marshmallow off this stick. <laughs> so we woke up oh, around four o'clock this morning, pitch black. We uh, got up, got dressed, packed up the tent, tried to be as quiet as we could, and we started driving out to the Lamar Valley, and that's where we are at right now. And so far, it hasn't disappointed. We've seen uh, lots of bison, buffalo, whatever you want to call them. But it's definitely a, a beautiful drive, and I think uh, waking up and getting out here has paid off. Taking a little morning hike up to Trout Lake. We haven't even had our coffee yet. <laughs> Sun just came up over the mountains. Oh, cool. Man. I'm like waking up to that in the morning. It's awesome. So we decided to opt for breakfast here in uh, Silver City, right outside the Yellowstone Northeast entrance. We were gonna do lunch out here. Uh, we just got done at the Lamar Valley. We saw a bunch of animals and we didn't know how long we'd be in the Lamar Valley so we had kind of planned on doing lunch here. We just kind of wanted to see the small little town which is cute. But it's still early so we skipped cooking breakfast and we decided to just get breakfast. Buy it. Buy it. And maybe all the breakfast food we packed, we'll, uh, maybe we'll cook, for, cook that for lunch when we go back into the park today. But this is a cute little place. Right here in Silver City, I don't think uh, the northeast entrance gets too much traffic from the look of it, so definitely, definitely kind of cool to come out here and see it. Okay, this looks awesome. After a night of camping, sleeping on a hard ground, big old thick cut piece of ham, Ooh, some French toast. How's that, how's that bacon? Yeah, the old thumbs up? Hot. <laughs> Oh, that little one just almost got run over. 
Yeah. Definitely recommend making a quick stop to this waterfall. All you gotta do is pull over and get out. There's no hike required and uh, just a really nice overlook. So we are in the Mammoth area of Yellowstone. It's almost like they have a cute little town. This is the headquarters for Yellowstone and a lot of these are private residences, I guess, where the people who work here live and uh, they have their own little town. I guess it used to be an old fort run by the army a long time ago before the Park Service took it over. Elk hanging out in a little town here.